Hi Aquarius, my air sign Aquarius, yes, what is up and what is good with y'all, welcome and welcome back to the channel, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video, if you are new and you've never seen my channel before, my name is Queen of Wands 1111, okay, I'm doing your next 48 hours for the Air sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Pick a node, it doesn't matter. Okay, cross watchers, you are also welcome. Keep in mind that this is general for the collective. So, are these messages going to resonate with every single last one of y'all? No? Okay. So, do take the parts that do resonate with y'all. I leave the rest for another Aquarius. Okay. If you would like to book me for a private personal reading, if that's something that you are interested in, okay, my link is in the description box down below. The only way you can contact me is through my email. Click like and click share, subscribe to the channel, and turn your post notifications on ALL, okay? So you won't miss any readings that I upload for you guys. You will always be notified, okay? So, let's shuffle real, real good. And then I'm going to jump straight into the reading. Okay, period. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I hope you guys are enjoying your week. Whatever pops out from spirit, that's what I'm going to take. That's what I'm going to read. Okay, do not get mad at the messenger. Do not shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you. Knight of Wands here. Aries Leo Sag. Okay. So the overall energy is the Knight of Wands. I feel like this person, um, you may feel that they're very fickle, very flighty in and out. They don't know what they want. They change their mind a lot. Okay. Or... This is someone that you're dealing with who is non-committal, right? They're in their player energy. They don't want to be tied down right now. Or this is you, okay? But I feel like someone needs to change their player ways here, okay? Or someone is changing their player ways for some of you. Yeah, someone has been through a transformation, a change. Okay, a shift has happened here. For some of y'all, y'all dealing with a player and y'all want this person to change and so and show you differently or you're leaving, you're ending the connection. Somebody is you either ended a connection with a player, it could be a Scorpio or this person's player ways are changing. Let's see, why is the death card here for Aquarius? Why is death here for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, North node. Hmm. So this was in the reverse. I don't want to read it in the reverse. All right, but since it fell out that way. So someone may have told you like they're going to change their play of ways or you may see someone's play of ways changing for the better. But I feel like with the magician in reverse, okay, somebody could be gaslighting. Somebody could be gaslighting you or be manipulative, right? Maybe lying about something that they're getting ready to change. I feel like you've had to end it for some of you because you feel like you cannot manifest something that you want here with this person. It's not happening. Okay, maybe some of you feel like your manifestations are blocked. It's something you're trying to make happen with this person and it's not working. It doesn't seem like it's working. Somebody could be gaslighting, being manipulative, lying, okay, or just... This is not good, the uh, a Magician in Reverse. This is not good. Okay. Why is the Magician in the Reverse? Why is the Magician in the Reverse for Aquarius? Maybe a Gemini that you're dealing with. I feel 
feel like this hair font wanted to come out in the reverse. Okay, somebody may still be holding on to old belief systems or old ways of doing things. Or like, somebody may be holding on to a certain way of thinking or living. Like, okay, this has to be done this way, that way, this way, that way. Okay. Also, I, I'm also seeing someone here that would take advice from like outsiders, family, friends, um, they really do care about how people think of them. They take other people's advice instead of their own. Okay. With the hard font in reverse. There's like a lack of commitment here between you and this person. Somebody feels very much stuck, trapped, and blocked in their head. I feel like... Be careful who, like, be careful of your family and friends giving you advice. Because some of these people may be giving you, like, bad advice. Alright? And it's going to make you feel stuck, trapped, and blocked. You may feel like you're all up in your head all the time. Maybe overthinking. Okay? Well, this is somebody else. Maybe this person perceives you to be this way, you know, a player. And that needs to change because somebody's holding on to old ways of being, old ways of thinking, gaslighting, being manipulative, being deceptive, you know, and it's, it's causing for someone to feel like they're in a mental imprisonment of their thoughts here, yeah. This is making someone pretty emotional with the Queen of Cups showing up here. This energy is very emotional. Okay. There are some deep rooted issues, deep seated issues going on with someone here. This could be you or your person. Somebody's going through like anxiety, depression. It could be um, mental problems here someone may have. Well, this is you. Yeah, somebody rejected an offer. Okay. Somebody told you no. All right. It could have been a child, like a baby. Somebody said, no, they don't want to have no babies. I feel like you're still, you still have feelings for someone here that rejected you. You may be the type, or this person is the type to get pretty bored and connections and is always in search of new love okay but I feel like you're not feeling this person you are not satisfied with the outcome you're just not happy about this the knight of cups is on the floor Somebody is a con artist, a liar. It's in reverse. But I feel like they they need to apologize to you. <sighs> I want to say this Ace of Pentacles is in reverse because it's like a lack of uh, it's like a lack of a new start. Okay, somebody may be lacking money. Somebody may not have confidence. They may have low self esteem. Very materialistic. Um, why is the Four of Cups here? For Aquarius. Why is the Four of Cups here? For the air sign of Aquarius. Yeah. I feel like things are being steered in your direction. And I do feel like that. You're moving forward. You're moving on. Some, some of you are moving towards new love. You may be traveling. Or you're just bored. You don't like the fact that you 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 have to travel so much, and move around so much. You're very dissatisfied with this traveling or moving around that you have to do. What fell? Give me a second. All right, y'all. So the six of cups is in the reverse. Somebody's stuck in the past, or you're giving love to someone from the past, or this is someone else returning. Um, to a past person for some of y'all. I 
feel like you don't want to reconcile with this past person. There's not many good memories here between you and them. Maybe a Leo. Yeah, that cycle has closed out. Yeah, because you're not standing for something. You're putting your foot down, setting boundaries where this person is. They may be distant, like becoming distant and pushing you away. You may feel like this person is pushing you away. Damn. Seven of Swords came out in the reverse. But it fell on the floor. There is communication coming in. But I feel like this person is more uh, detached and giving you the cold shoulder. Or you're doing this to them. Okay. It could be because somebody is juggling. Or they're not sure about the connection. They're not sure about the connection. This may have went too fast. Or there's something really quickly coming in towards you someone is not sure if they should tell you something or if they should communicate or travel towards you okay the seven of swords is on the floor i don't know if you guys can see that in the reverse so i feel like secrets out okay somebody's um lies deception is out i feel like um they want to clear the air about something Okay, they want to be they want to tell you the truth about something here. For some of y'all, this person you may feel like they blame you for everything. Okay, maybe it about money or finances or that you don't give much. Okay, or you don't have much to give. All right, you may be buying someone a gift or someone is buying you a gift. I feel like someone is, is, is weighing up the pros and the cons if they want to speak to you and, and tell you this, what they did, or they're blaming you. Maybe y'all throwing fiery dots at each other going back and forth, and maybe they're blaming you, or you're blaming them. It's pretty toxic, but I do see you guys holding back, okay, restricting and restraining yourself. You could be stopping yourself from sending this person messages. It's like you want to talk to them, but you're stopping yourself. Could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the two of pentacles. Yeah. Um, I feel like a lot of you are deciding to just turn your back. To explore, to expand, to see what else is out there for you. And ghost this person. Okay. Hermit energy. You may be the type that's a homebody that likes to stay in the house a lot. Or you're in search of some sort of wisdom and guidance you're very wise you're very very wise but i feel like you're in search of some spiritual spiritual guidance okay there is a light at the end of the tunnel and i do feel like you guys are reflecting okay you guys are um detaching yourself from everybody and everything Yeah, this person did not invest or work on the connection like they should have. They didn't invest right with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse here. Yeah. But they can't move on either with the Six of Swords in the reverse. I feel like this person was not... They need to do some shadow work, okay? Because I feel like this person was not investing right into the connection. They may have had... Now, that's my shoe rubbing up against that, that leather, please. <laughs> They've had other priorities or other things they were working on besides, you know, the connection. And I feel like they can't move away. They can't move on from you, okay? This is something that they're not telling you that they can't move on from you, all right? They're all up in their feelings, this person. Yeah, I do see you guys recovering from heartache and pain. You're getting over it. You're recovering from this ending, from this painful ending. You're getting over it. But someone here is still spying. They're, they're in an um, obsessive state right now. They're obsessing over this. They're trying to figure something out. Or this is you spying. 
spying on your person, social media, or you know, their phone or whatever. You're getting over whatever it is that you found out, you know, or um, you're getting over the situation, this person, and this person right here could be stalking you, spying you, spying on you, or that's you. I don't know who this is that's spying. This could be you spying because the page of swords is here. All right, but I feel like there's something you're trying to figure out. You're recovering from this from this painful ending. You may have did some research or some investigative work, and you may have found out something. Okay, I feel like you've, you've held back because you saw something on somebody's social media. You held back or something. You saw something in someone's phone. Somebody is just like all about themselves. There's a lack of success here between the two of you. There's a lack of victory here. Someone's not moving forward successfully and victoriously. This is like a start, stop, on and off type of relationship. I don't see you guys sleeping together at the moment. This is for the next 48 hours. Okay, if I didn't say that to y'all. There's a lack of messages with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Or this person is not trying to text you. They're not trying to reach out to you. Some of you are working on your um, working on your emotions, or this person needs to work on their emotions. <sighs> Why is the Page of Pentacles in the reverse? It's like somebody wanted to tell you. You know what was going on and clear the air but I feel like they stopped themselves okay somebody was getting blamed for everything here or well, this is what your person is doing to you yeah that's the truth all right you may be dealing with an Aries a father figure uh, a husband or some sort but I feel like you're stepping up, okay, and taking accountability for the part that you played in this connection, all right? You're bossing up. You do have control over this situation or you're gaining some sort of control over this situation. But I feel like this this may still have you sad and crying. You may not be over this person or this person is not over you. They're literally shedding tears right here. Somebody may need to have uh, medical treatment. And I feel like somebody may have called the authorities and someone is sad about this. Someone is crying because they have to go into like uh, an institution of some sort. I feel like you guys are not speaking to each other with the high priestess and the king of cups. I feel like this person's um, emotions is getting stronger for you. Okay, because y'all not talking. There's a lot of different stories in here. Okay, yeah, somebody could be um, not telling you that they're going to therapy or counseling. They're working with others behind the scenes. They may be um, graduating from, like, uh, they may be getting their certificate completion of therapy or uh, some sort of uh, uh, counseling. But this person's feelings is growing stronger for you and they want to reconcile with you. Yeah, because they're still in love with you. Yeah, and they want a second chance here. They've been really praying and meditating on this, so this is you. Somebody's making a final judgment call about this connection. Somebody, yeah...
I don't feel like there's going to be a reconciliation, a successful one, because justice is in the reverse. Somebody felt like they were done wrong or somebody was mistreated in the connection. There's karma coming to whoever mistreated you. There's a choice between two. I definitely feel like um, the final judgment calls that someone's it's not, it's, it's not, no, it's no reconciliation. I feel like you're more, fo more so focused on self-love here somebody felt that they was done very wrong in the connection okay somebody's getting karma for not putting in all their love and, and giving their whole cup to someone here now these are additional channel messages okay so you don't have to take these messages if you don't want to but there's someone here who has a mental instability this may be someone who has a feminine energy they do have money issues okay they may be seeming to be very shady and they burn a lot of cash or burn other people's cash maybe they like to burn your cash before they spend their own cash or this is you okay but somebody likes to downgrade or talk bad make other people perceive you in a different way to make themselves look good this may be a fellow air sign or that's you okay false person so I, I feel like there's a main female here you feel like this person gets everything or this is you someone is jealous and envious of you because they feel like you get everything that you want okay um you may have um, a decision to make or a court a court situation a legal situation but you're getting a gift i feel like you guys may be hitting the lottery literally or um playing a ticket or getting something from the government or spirit right here okay i feel like there's true love coming to you express express your love and keep an open mind here okay you may be um healing family issues with somebody that you pulled away from okay somebody you have children with may have children by this person or there's children involved here all right but i feel like um you two need to clear the air or that's going to be happening or there's a blame game happening here between you and this person like you did this and you did that and you did this and you did that and blah 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 blah, blah, blah you know but i do see a lot of changes happening for you i also see you guys getting into a new connection or reconnecting with someone if you want to so that is all your messages that i have for you guys for today make sure you guys like share and subscribe to the channel turn your post notifications on all so you won't miss any readings that I upload for y'all. I love y'all, Aquarius. Until next time, bye Aquarius. I'll see y'all in the next reading.